What's up guys, welcome back once again to my youtube channel, my name is Dash Lifestyle, kindly if you're watching me for the first time, remember to subscribe, like, share and also comment. So guys, uh, welcome to my Jamaican people, happy valentine to you all, yeah, happy, happy, happy valentines to the lover, you know today it is uh, uh, love editions or today it is uh, giving out the flowers, we call it flowers edition. For me, I have here my flowers, but these flowers I want to dedicate or I want to give to my Jamaican people. Yeah, so this one it is for you, my Jamaican people. Yeah, thank you so much for the love and support that you have shown me through this channel. So I have decided to bought this uh, a nice flower for you guys. Let me just show you. You can see a very nice flower. And uh, it is very organic, it is not a plastic flower, it is a real flower, you can see, yeah, real, real flower. So this one is for you, my Jamaican people, thank you so much for the love and support you have shown me. And also today, according to my title, is Jamaican supporting uh, African YouTubers, that it is the topic of today, or the title of today. Is Jamaican supporting African uh, in general yeah for me uh, I can say they are really really supportive and also they are showing love and support to all of to all Africans yeah and uh, keep on saying that uh, you know Jamaica it is a black nation or black country let me just say it's a black country outside Africa yeah they are all black uh, the percentage uh, 75 percent they're black and the remaining percentage they're white so that's means that a lot of them are black and also they are spreading uh, love outside Africa yeah so and uh, you may uh, you may be asked why is Jamaica so famous in Caribbean countries yeah Jamaica it is so famous because of their culture because of their music because of uh, uh their skin yeah you know they're black yeah let me just say like that their skin so tra their tradition so many things that are uh, it is out there that makes jamaica to stand and to be famous so uh, back to my point is jamaica supporting africa yes for me they are really supportive also uh even our president that is uh, our current president that it is William Samuel Ruto, even uh, he has uh, uh, signed a deal or agreement uh, visa free for, from here in Kenya. When you are here in Kenya, you are going to Jamaica for 90 days, I will be given a visa free. Imagine, here in Kenya, that's how they are really uh, supporting us uh, here in Africa. And also when you see uh, the YouTubers, let me just go to the perspective. To my main, to my main point, it is about uh, YouTubers. They really uh, support African YouTubers. Yeah, the likes of Odemaya, the likes of Ayamarwa, the likes of Miss Trudy, the likes of African Tigris. So they really support, support, and they show love. Uh, very welcome, guys. Once again, I've just come here beside the river, at least uh, to have a nice breeze. Although the sun it is uh, still hot, you can imagine it is still uh, it is around 5 uh, p.m. But the sun it is still hot. Uh, you know, in the here in the months of January, February, March, we usually have uh, the sun. It is so hot uh, during uh, these three months, January, February, and March. But uh, going forward, uh, starting from February, uh, going uh, it is a uh, uh, rainy season. But uh, here, yeah, the sun it is still hot because we are in the month of sun. Yeah, but uh, the weather system uh, from here uh, in Africa and also then Jamaica it is still the same. They don't have a winter or summer. Even us here in Africa, we don't have winter and summer. So I was to tell you, but that. Uh, uh, why is Jamaican supporting uh, African 100%? Yeah, and I've already told you some of the reason uh, and also there's uh, this thing uh, YouTubers right now they are flocking and they are going into Jamaica They are really really uh, traveling to Jamaica 
you know Jamaica it has this one thing uh, special uh, and that it is uh, let me just say not only Jamaica but a uh, Caribbean country they have uh, their RPM yeah it is very high it is times uh, it is times five from here in Kenya uh, for those people who are watching our video from Jamaica USA uh, those Caribbean countries their revenue it is high compared with these people who are watching us here in Africa so that means that uh, when you have like uh, 10 people or 100 people uh, watching you from Jamaica and uh, you have uh, let me just say 100 people watching you from here in Africa the amount to not be the same yeah you will get more money from those people who are watching you from Jamaica and uh, Caribbean countries times 10 of those people who are watching you from here in Africa that's why people are going to Jamaica that's the secret yeah if you are in Jamaica yeah you guys uh, and you are doing a YouTube and a content you guys will get more views and that's one of the biggest support that uh, Jamaica are showing us as uh, Africa especially you know right now we have more con more Africans content, content creator uh, our youtubers who are in Jamaica and they are really doing so well even one of them uh, he recently left Jamaica she's called Dimwango yeah she has re uh, she has left Jamaica but you guys you know the first thing uh, after leaving Jamaica she came and bought a very expensive uh, laptop that it is a uh, MacBook Air it goes around uh, uh, 500 uh, thousand that's half a million kenya shillings yeah that's a half a million kenya shillings that it is like uh is it two thousand usd around two thousand or one thousand hundred and fifty it is like a uh, thousand usd yeah i'll do the calculation and i will put here or you can do the calculation so uh, he has bought she has bought a uh, iphone and also she has bought a uh, so she has bought even an iPhone 15. Yeah, imagine iPhone 15. That's the latest iPhone model. Yeah, after leaving uh, uh, Jamaica, also she has surprised her mom with a Mercedes Benz. That's a car, a very very expensive German machine. Yeah, Mercedes Benz. And that's the thing that I'm telling you guys. Jamaica, they have uh, it has uh, a lot of money. Uh, when it comes to YouTube, for those people who are watching you from Jamaica, their revenue is very, very high. And that's why you will see uh, more Africans and more content creators are living to are now going to Jamaica. You can imagine how much she has uh, come with it from Jamaica. And that's the reason why even me, I want to pack my things and go to Jamaica. Because Jamaica, they are very, very supportive. And also they are showing some love and support. Uh, here uh, in Africa and uh, as usual you know Jamaican it is a black uh, country outside Africa yeah I keep on using like that because I want you guys to be familiar with that and also when I will arrive there I found a one guy who is uh, who will be hosting me when I will be uh, coming there in Jamaica and also that's the, the support that uh, another support that uh, you guys uh, you have imagine I've not yet started travel but some of uh, one of you uh, he has decided uh, Dash lifestyle you know what when you come to Jamaica we'll host you so uh, that's another support that you Jamaican also you are uh, showing and also uh, I really love even us we us in Africa even we show support we show love and support because when it comes to music uh, we always play your music each and every each and every day we play your music imagine here even the songs which are playing here let me just use my country here in Kenya it is uh we play like uh, 70 70% 70 uh, of our song but uh the other song uh, it is from Jamaica yeah the other song it is Jamaica we play like uh, 30% yeah Jamaica we play 30% but Jamaica here in Kenya we play uh, during on Sunday that's Sundays it is purely for the reggae rhythm dancehall yeah so that's a uh, one day uh, full of uh, 
playing of reggae music from Jamaica, R&B, not R&B, dancehall, raga, ragaton, yeah. So that even that's one of the love that uh, we are even showing to you guys, yeah. And also, uh, you guys, you have already, you are, you stick, uh, you have stick to your tradition, yeah, your tradition and culture, you have really, really stick on that. And also, there's a guy who said that, uh, you know, us African, when some of us African, when we think about uh, Jamaica, we usually, the first thing which comes to our mind, it is about weed, yeah, weed. But some of you, uh, one of you uh, said that, uh, you know what, Dash, then Jamaica, uh, you Africans, you think that uh, we are smoking weed each and every day, but no, even Jamaicans, they don't smoke a lot of weed. They don't, if they don't smoke a lot of weed, I don't know why, but us in Africa, uh, when we, even uh, when I found someone in the street and ask, what do you love about Jamaica, or what comes to your mind when you hear the word Jamaica, the first thing you will say, uh, if it is not music, it is weed, those two things. Their music and weed, but uh, especially uh, the weed usually come first, and then the music. Yeah. So those are the things that uh, they know. They don't know about uh, Jamaican cuisine. Jamaica, they have the best food, the seafood. Yeah. Also, Jamaica, they have uh, the best beautiful uh, uh, beaches. Also, they have uh, beautiful ladies. Yeah. Although uh, the life there in Jamaica economy is very expensive, but uh, you you guys are uh, you are blessed. Yeah, you are really blessed, and also you are you have made your country. Uh, Jamaica it is the first uh, Caribbean country uh, to go popular or to. It is very known. It it is known. Uh, it is the first to know, to be known in Caribbean country. When you say Caribbean country, the first thing uh, country it will pop up it is Jamaica. Yes, because of their culture. Yeah, because of their music. Yeah, because of the how they are supporting their country. Yeah, imagine uh, more of them. Uh, sorry guys, there is a fly disturbing me. Imagine guys, more of them. They are even not living in their country, but. Uh, when you say or you type any word for, uh, which is related to Jamaica, they will still come and uh, pop up and show what it is really going home. Yeah, they really want to know what it is going home. That's why uh, if you do a video there in Jamaica, you will get uh, at least more view. Yeah, their views, it is very high. And also the money, also it is very high. And that's why uh, even our president decided to make uh, Jamaica and Kenya visa free if you are going there for 90 days, yeah. I think even our president, he, he, he acknowledged about uh, Jamaica. Also, uh, he knows more about uh, content, cre content creation, yeah. And also, Jamaica, they don't fear uh, cameras, yeah, but there's some private uh, area, some private beaches, but a uh, beach where they don't allow uh, filming and camera. But a uh, uh, majority, uh, you can go and film, you can go and have an interview with uh, Jamaica. Those people, they are really friendly and also they are willing to show you to show you some love and support. I really love that. The only thing that I don't uh, uh, love about uh, Jamaica, it is how life it is there, expensive, yeah. I don't know what, uh, what uh, it is, uh, I don't know... Uh, the real reason or the main reason why life there it is very expensive. Uh, even the uh, Jamaicans uh, themselves, they are going to work outside of their country uh, because majority of them they are working outside of their country and uh, a few, uh, let me just say half of Jamaica, they are working outside uh, Jamaica, they are in foreign uh, country, but half of them they are living in Jamaica. So it is a it is a balanced. <laughs> Let me just say a balanced. Yeah, half outside, half inside. But that it is good, uh, because when you are going to work outside, you will still bring the money. Because you will still bring money home, and you will retire home. So that money it uh, grows your economy. That's very okay. I cannot uh, uh, disagree with that. Yeah.
So, uh, for you guys, I have already told you some of the reason why Jamaicans are. Uh, is Jamaican really supporting African 100%? Yes, it is really supporting African uh, 100 times percent. For me, I can say that. And uh, I was asking uh, about uh, another thing. It is I was asking about uh, polygamy in Jamaica. But uh, one of you is say that uh, nowadays uh, they don't practice polygamy in Jamaica uh, because of uh, expensive life. But uh, back in the days, uh, he told me that uh, back in the days, uh, men, they love women. Yeah, they love women and uh, you will find a man, uh, he has a wife and also he has a mistress. So you will find uh, this guy, uh, he was hiding a mistress from his wife and also the children but uh, uh, during it was uh, back in the day but uh, nowadays uh, they don't uh, uh, practice polygamy at all also uh, due to the how life it is very expensive there in Jamaica uh, they don't uh, do uh, they don't allow uh, polygamy or if you do polygamy you will need to have at least uh, enough money to sustain because the life there it is very expensive so the guy told me back in the days yeah uh, we, they don't uh, he didn't uh, they were no uh, polygamies uh, even there were no polygamies but uh, you will find a guy he has a mistress and also he has a wife but uh, some sometimes he was uh, hiding the mistress from the wife also the outside children was hiding uh, them from the main wife so can we call that uh, polygamy or what do we call that because for me i believe polygamy is having uh, at least more than two wife yeah and uh, in this case you will see a mistress and a wife hi you jamaicans someone comment down below so that i can understand about uh, polygamy in jamaica but here in kenya uh, polygamy it is uh, it is allowed, yeah, you can marry as long as you have uh, uh, enough money to sustain them. Yeah, you can marry even 40, 50, wife, uh, 10, yeah, as long as you, you have money to take care of each and every wife, also together with their kid, yeah, you will, you will be allowed to do that. But uh, if you don't have uh, money and you want to have more than two wives you know that one it is uh, somehow it will become dif uh, difficult taking care of two wives and you don't have a job a good job you don't have money you don't have land but here in kenya uh, if you have uh, uh, if you have inherited a land and your land it is big enough yeah you can you can go you can do a polygamy you can have a polygamy family but uh, if you haven't uh, inherited anything from your dad or from your grandpa yeah it will become now difficult for you to have a polygamy family because uh, here we inherited some of the uh, our some of the properties uh, that you find uh, nowadays people have they have been registered in their family I don't know if Jamaica this this uh, inheritance no here in African culture if your grandpa, your grandparents, or your, if your grandpa, he had a land, he'll give it, he left it to your, uh, your, your dad. And if your dad goes away, he left it to you as a son. But uh, if there were no land, it will need you to work extra hard to buy at least a piece of land, start building your family. And that's how it goes. I don't know if in Jamaica they still inheritance of land because I believe it is there because there are more of them that are African and uh, as African we practice uh, that one so that uh, at least uh, to keep the the family name and also where the family it was started you need to inherit that land but it goes and it goes yeah like that so you can comment down below for Jamaican culture at least so that uh, we can learn something so guys i think i'll be ending my video right here and uh thank you so much for watching this video until this time and i also happy happy valentine's to you my uh jamaican uh, viewers also to everyone who is watching me happy valentine's 
and also yeah we are still the month of love uh, february it is the month of love and also that's why i've come here to at least to have a breeze behind me it is a river and also that river right now the boys are uh, swimming but i don't want to go there and uh, because the most of them they are swimming half naked uh, let me just say naked they are swimming naked because they are still underage are they they are most of them they are 10 for grown-up people it is the other side but this one it is for the small boys yeah at the age of 10 12 13 but the other side at the age of 18 uh, now you are grown up you will still swim there so that's why I'm here and uh, it feel good for me having uh, shooting this video beside the river there we have the river let me just show you we have a nice river it is here flowing all the way to that one so uh, thank you so much uh, for the love and support you have shown me and uh, also keep on subscribing and be introducing uh, another new videos apart from uh, Jamaican's video I'll be going around showcasing uh, uh, exploring uh, our towns our city here in kenya so stay tuned subscribe if you haven't like share and also comment also i'll be telling you some of the difference between uh here in africa and also in jamaica although we are one uh, nation but a uh, different continent so uh, i'll be telling you more about jamaica also i'll be telling you more about uh, africa so and also uh, more it is coming guys, more it is coming, a better quality and uh, thanks to you my viewers, uh, right now I have acquired a new camera, it is a GoPro camera, I'll be revealing it on my next video, so that's another step of making on YouTube, apart from reaching 5000 subscribers, I have a new GoPro camera, I will start shooting uh, using it uh, on my next video, so thank you so much. Ah, uh, wagwan, wagwan, jobless. See you soon.